Oh, this place looks different. Oh my god, all the siren, all the girls are here. A shame that you can't stay inside the temple with us. <laughs> um, are you all happy serving Matari? Dear, if it was your passion to love someone with all of your heart and be loved in return, wouldn't you be happy? When our fight with purity is over, I believe the Maidens will remain with Matari no matter what she decides to do next. But... You will always be welcome to pay us a visit. Do come to me first. I'm dying to meet the real you. Alright. Yeah, this place is... Had an upgrade. Right. Nanya. Good to see you. Well, you still got this sword. Take care of yourself. She's got fine clothes. Um. What do you need, my friend? Be careful out there. All right. You stood up. Oh. You look different. May wisdom forever light your path. Yeah, your hair doesn't have physics either. Okay, so they're all here now. She's behind me, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a display of color. I to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Right. You hear any juicy oh. gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Do you ever get tired of the long days on the farm, Matthias? What? Yes. Yes, I do. Let me know if there's anything else you need. 
business today. Great. I even had some time left over to start on that special order. Here, have a look. Damn. Isabel. Yes, Lord. That's a work of art right there. Dude. Where the hunter is, or the hunters. Seems the heavens are opening up. Ha! Here we 
draw. My blade. Princess Necromancer. Some rabbit. There she is. Yes. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Uh, we can't seem to sleep here. No. I'm not sure she's following either. Oh no, you set the rabbit on fire just by being close to it. Looks like Kinaret's putting on a shoe wall. Nice 
wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? What is it? Lydia is a very attractive woman. Don't you think so too? I agree. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I do hope you prefer me anyway. Shall we continue? You ugly bear! Yeah, Ori never joined us. Better go this way. It's all impassable stuff up that way. Before I came here, I thought I was going to see what I told myself. Mm -hmm. seems to be very fascinated by the Dwemer culture. Maybe he could come with us when we go to Rui? Hunter is dead. Suppose the troll killed the hunter. As we go along the road.
Let it be a lesson to others. Years like this, it feels good to be out of the city, away from people. The map is a little bit inaccurate. Your guard up. If we don't have anything else really important to do, maybe we could soon visit Wilbert in solitude. <laughs> so eager to hear about this mission for me. On the way back. Hey, wait up for me. Oh. I don't want to go to bad sleep. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Alright. Alright then. Orkish boots. Something on 
in your mind? Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. With the blades. Oh, it was a terrible oath. It was given to me by a priest of Mara who asked me if I wanted to be bound in love now and forever. Go and get supplies from Markarth for them. Do you know the name of this ruin? Watch your back around here. The silver blood to the real law and mark on. Now, um, we gotta get up there, don't we?
It feels good to be back. The scented fragrance, the posh decor. Everything is just like I remember. Um. Hey, darling, why don't you show me some of that food? Where do you want me to stay? Anywhere in the city, really. Don't just stay by the front entrance or you might get ambushed. Patrol around the area for a bit. We do plan on having some additional company, so keep an eye on anyone suspicious that will come and go. Especially the men. Before you leave, don't be afraid to introduce yourself to the captain. She's an interesting woman and it might be a while before we see her again. See you outside. Don't worry, this will only take a few hours. Captain? Now, being here, the sisters are communing I'm with a little Bella. scared. They can't be disturbed. I'm not used to doing You'll what have to we're come back another to do time. with people I've never met. Miss Zana, as yes. a former charm instructor, is there anything I can do for you? Embarrassment. It's just not the same. Okay, there's a lot of suspicious people. What do you need? Hmm? What are you talking about? I saw you walk into the city with those women. Ashen, was it? Just tell me, are their services up for sale? Why do you think that? They're here to worship the better, aren't they? Kicked me out of the temple, they did. Said I was not good for their blessing. A lot of her believers here today. Maybe to see your women. They are beautiful, after all. I'll pay. If they're eager to please, then why not make some gold while they're at it? <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak for them. Shoot. I thought you were their master. Just a bodyguard then, eh? Fine, apologies.
need something. Okay. Nice home you got here. Serenity? It's me. What? Create a new phone? I didn't create it. I took it. It feels so wrong. This is what Matari does. Except when I take something, I do it out of love. This poor girl was a grieving widow. She was planning on drowning herself, but I got to her first. She was so full of love. Just what I need to control her. Why are you here? I didn't get the chance to say it at Pazeroth, so I'll say it now. Thank you, and goodbye. It's been over 200 years since I had a body to call my own, and a millennia since I've been able to walk alongside regular people. Everything is so perfect. I can finally live and die like a mortal. I'm free. What about the other holy matrons and your goddess? I've done a lot of thinking over the years I spent at Pazaroth. Things have moved on without me. I've gone to the afterlife and back. It's making me dizzy. Time to keep things simple and just live a normal life. No more cults to join, no more sacrifices. I'm going to try out normality and see how that goes. You're not gonna stop, Matari. I've already told you that this isn't my fight. She and I are complete opposites. I'd compromise you the moment she would recognize my presence. Sometimes the world would be better off without people like us, trying to change things for the better. Just let it go. If I just let it go, Matari will oh, win and we'll all well, die. You walk away. Then here. You've made your decision. You're going to keep up the good fight and do what the Observer asked of you. What is this? Kasha asked me about Sky's Divide. I can't show you where it is, but this map will lead you to a sealed off dwarven ruin that my people have dubbed as Legacy Bastion. There, you will find the answers that will set you on a path to reach the Divide and bring about the final confrontation that comes with the Observer's plan. Just happen to have this map with you? When I saw you walk into Markarth with the Maidens, I figured you would ignore any attempt I made to turn you down. So I drew you the map. Hard to forget where the Bastion is. It's where I found my old sword that your lizard friend now has. I'm not one to crush somebody's hopes and aspirations, and I didn't want to leave you empty-handed. I might not believe what you're going to go through will work, you know, but I that really doesn't mean I want you to fail. In spite of and if you do, I'll see you on the other side, yeah? I hope this helps. Trust me, as long as it's not too late to stop Matari, it will. The Golden Maidens, or whatever cute name they've given themselves these days, there is something you should know about them. They're not in that temple to worship Debella. They don't care about any goddess of love or her teachings. They're only there for the benefits. They did the same with my goddess. They infiltrated my realm, pretending to be believers. They made it so easy for us to fall into their trap. They blended right in with the fancy dresses and dye-colored hair. Then they died. We found their scorched bodies in the barracks, killed by the mistress you know all too well because they nearly exposed her. That's all they are to her. Disposable tools of pleasure and violence. So, I want you to know, you should be very, very afraid of what they're capable of. Before Matari makes a move on you, they will. Well, I've had enough to talk about for a few lifetimes. Time to buy myself a cozy waterfront cottage over in the Imperial City and write a book or two.
Be sure to stop by sometime before the world ends, okay? Love and peace, sweetie. He needs physics here. Something. Confront the monk. Like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Can't right now. Got to confront a monk. What are you doing? Wake up! Wake up! Lousy bastard! Hey! Look at me! I have some questions for you! What happened? You are being held for ransom. Exchange. We are demanding that your Captain Cordinale see their ship, the Catalyst. This would have been much easier had we captured your ashen women. I wonder if you are worth anything to them. In your time of need, they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> if they agree, will you let me go? Will they? How important are you? You were completely unexpected. Our contractor didn't say there'd be some sort of bodyguard. Contractor? To part of the Dark Brotherhood? In a past life. But I am still loyal to our creed. You must be one of the outcasts Dimitri told me about. So you're the Ashen Lover? I had a feeling it was you small world. Why are you doing this? This is what we've been driven to do. Reduced to privateer work, plundering ships along the coast. Whatever contracts we can take, lets us relive the good old days before the Ashen shamed us. So what are you gonna do with me? I need to think. Oh, do you respect? This job went straight to the gutter because of you. You want to know why we really do this? When we were banished, we lost our honour. So now, outside of the Brotherhood, we can do something different. We make our own terms. <laughs> Did we keep you waiting? So this guy was in on it as well. Ah. 
Oh, so you went and got him, will ya? As fast as we could. Of all the enemies that could have come after us in Markarth, it was pirates that spoiled the fun. You sure do get yourself into a lot of trouble. Maybe you're the one that needs protection. Maybe. Well, I see the corpse of a Dark Brotherhood assassin. The others just look like a bunch of regular troublemakers. I take it these are the band of pirates led by a group of Brotherhood outcasts. Cordonelli mentioned them in passing. How'd you trick us down, did they give you their demands? We never got demands. We had a feeling something was wrong when we couldn't find you around Markarth. We tracked them down to the Solitude Docks, jumped on a small boat and followed you here. Anyway, I think that's enough about them. We have to focus on purity in the heroes. At least we took care of a potential problem for Cordinali. She needs all the relaxation she can get on the job. She's going to be pretty busy the next few days as she gathers our next batch of supplies. What are we going to do with the ship? I figured you should make the call. I've blocked the door in case there are any additional crew members inside. What we could do is send a team of sirens to secure the ship when we get back to the palace. We'll hand it over to Cordonelli and she can decide what to do with it. Couldn't hurt to have an additional shipping vessel. Or we could just burn it and spare our sisters the trouble. What do you think? Uh. Burn it. Understood. It might end up being for the better. Let me know when you're done looking around. I don't want to leave Zana by herself for too long. Who is she? Taking care of some business. The pirates weren't the only danger that was lurking in Markarth. Uh All right. Climb down onto the boat. Morgan and I will start the fire. Zana should be southwest of Northland. Let's go find her so we can all go home. Well, we're a long way from Markarth. We're a long way from Zana.
Let it be a lesson to others. What was it? Dead wolves over there. Misana? Yes. You passed. Welcome to the Golden Maidens. It's finished. Why did you kill? She'll get over it. Why? There was still a part of her that hesitated before each kill, and flinched each time our bodies touched at the temple. That is unacceptable behavior for a maiden. We must let go of what we believe is right and wrong in order to serve Matari. Why kill this woman? Because this woman is Serenity. Our scouts reported that there was an explosion on the Pazareth rooftop during the battle, but I have no idea how she managed to escape. She truly did? At long last. For those with acute senses sharpened by Matari, you can't ignore a presence like Serenity. She was called a being of love by Marcus and a liar by our mistress. Until now, I never understood how she could be both. Looking at Serenity, all I see is a reflection of what I once was. It's pitiful. I wonder how I could have ever been such a fool. Then I realized something. All of us were once like Sana, living this wonderful lie of love. All we need is a little push to escape and find the truth. And we found it. Her name is Mitari. This always ends the same. When the body and soul are united, death is permanent. What Serenity did was suicide. She could have lived on for eternity as a disembodied soul. But maybe, after all these years, she just wanted to feel the joy of living. And live she did. So thank you, Serenity, for showing me what it's like to be. We need to go. What happened here is strictly classified. Commander? Take the lead once more. They promise redemption And this time we fight for freedom And then dream and awaken Shattered by love We courage together We lead against distraction Salvation, remission, and my life. 